Say hello guys. Happy Transformation Tuesday. How's your day going? It's dinner time and I decided to come here and share some healthy vegan options that your entire family is going to enjoy. Uh, let me see if I can um, see the connection here. Hopefully on my page and I can share it on my like page. Hopefully it'll show here. Just bear with me. Say hello guys as you're logging in. I have three viewers. How's your day going guys? It's been a minute. <laughs> All right, so I can share this now on my like page and my uh, viewers there can also um, join in on the fun. Uh, okay, hold on, let's see. Just bear with me. Oh, okay, on my page. Just bear with me. Say hello. What's up, Enrique, Elizabeth, Molly, Micaia? Say hello. Alrighty. So, like I was saying, so I have something to share with you guys. So, my daughter decided that she wants to change a few things in her diet. And um, I don't know where this came from, but I'm gonna I'm gonna embrace it. She wants to be a vegan. Now, this may be a problem <laughs> because we are meat lovers in this family. But I recall, and I don't know if you guys recall, I've done the Ultimate Reset 21 Day Cleanse. Hey Lexi, hola Lena. <laughs> and it's a 21 day program where you do all vegan meals 21 days straight. I loved it because it gave me great ideas, different um, ingredients, recipes to share, um, you know, with her and and and, um, and my family. And it was a great program. You do have to take some supplements, no working out, but I actually loved it. And it's not a bad idea that Kiki wants to go vegan. So that's my excuse now to get back on the Ultimate Reset. And I'm going to share a little bit more about that. But today, I am going to keep it simple for you guys that either want to limit your meat intake maybe one time in the week. I mean, I know there's people that like to do meatless Mondays or you feel that, you know, you just want to change it up. Um, so I came up with a few things here that I picked up at the grocery store the other day. And I've been meaning to come on here and share it with you guys. So um, say hello as you jump on board. Let me just show you what I have on the menu. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a, a pasta-free spaghetti zucchini with low sodium. I have vodka sauce and I have spicy marinara. So I actually started with my zucchinis. This is my uh, zucchinis. I, well, I actually started peeling my zucchinis. And I'm going to um, finish doing that now. But I'm going to make them in spaghetti spirals. Oh, girl. Lexi, let me tell you. That's how I felt. The very first time I did that cleanse, I actually took, it took me a minute and a half because I thought I was going to die. It took me forever to decide because everybody on my team was talking about it and raving about it. And, you know, just sharing how they were feeling. And I wanted to feel, you know, how great they were feeling. And I thought I was going to die. Mind you, the first three days, you still can eat um, grass-fed chicken and wild-caught salmon. Um, but they wean you off of it. And, girl, let me tell you, it was an experience. It wasn't easy at the beginning because obviously you have to come off, let's say, caffeine. You're not supposed to have soda, sugar, you know, all this stuff that we're addicted to that, you know, it brings toxicity to our bodies. And obviously, um, you know, you have withdrawals. So I was having my withdrawals. And to tell you the truth, by the end of the 21 days, I wasn't even missing the meat. So it's really crazy what you can do and what your body, you know, gets used to really, really quick. So 
But my daughter's going cold turkey. Like she, I was actually cooking and I was cooking chicken. And she comes to me at dinner time and says, you know what? I don't want to eat chicken. I want to be a vegan. I'm like, holy smokes. This is the girl that actually sucks the bones. <laughs> When I when I actually cook her, um, you know, like the drumsticks without the skin. This is the girl that like chews out the cartilage from inside the bone. Okay, um, don't ask me why she's decided to go vegan. She'll kill me if I if she knows that I'm actually talking about this here. But actually, it's a good thing. What was that? Uh, oh yeah, very very good. So. I'm actually peeling my zucchini. This is one. I'm going to try. Actually, guys, I'm warning you. I've never tried this before. Um, but one of my coaches actually shared this on her page and it caught my attention. And since um, Kiki is going vegan, then mommy has to come up with options because Kiki now is in college and she's out of the house all day. And mommy packs her food every single day. I'm a good mommy. <laughs> so I have to come up with something that she's going to enjoy. Yes, and mind you, she's never had zucchini. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see how that goes. All right. So this is my new gadget. I'm actually really excited. Ooh, that's weird. Really loud. Um, I guess this is a spiralizer. I'm not sure. You can actually get this on Amazon really, really, you know, easy, cheap. I think it was less than $10. And all we got to do is... Um, place I think let's see this is a medium size let's try the smaller size okay so it has two sides so I guess one side cuts thinner than the other all right so let's see just place it in here with your comments I can't really see all right let's see how this goes oh gosh let me see how hmm all right so as I'm showing you guys let me put this on a plate so I can show you guys. I wish I had like three hands here or a camera like adjusted on the top ceiling here. So you guys can actually see. Let me see if I can. I can't even put this a little lower. I'm trying to see if I could do this. So it actually starts to, I think it's a little too thin. You know what? Let's try the other side. It's probably better. Because this is supposed to be like spaghetti. So here I am. Never done this before, guys, so bear with me. This is a great idea for people that are diabetic and that love pasta but need a substitute, an alternative. Zucchini is a great. Ooh, okay, so the. Whippa. <laughs> okay, so the zucchini on this side, the medium side, is a little thicker. Okay, but mind you, this is raw. I'm going to steam it after I slice it all. I string it, I should say. I'm going to string it. I'm going to uh, steam it. So I have actually boiling water here on the stove. And that way, I, I'm going to lightly steam it. Well, actually, lightly boil it. So as you can see, this is how it's coming out. Hi, Janelle. <laughs> Yes, zucchini is delicious, Lexi. I love it. Gata's not a big cucumber zucchini fan, but I'll give you guys the update when she sits. Down. Actually, I'll make a little video. It'll probably go live. So look how cool. This is all spirally. Reminds me of my hair. <laughs> Curly hair. Which I gotta cut. What do you guys think? Should I cut my hair? I'm thinking of cutting my hair and going short. I used to love my hair when it was short. Okay, so as we're going further into the machine, there's this little thing where you can actually um, poke your zucchini and keep rotating. Has anybody ever tried this before? Anybody? Any suggestions? <laughs> Let me know how I'm doing, guys, if you know. Let me know if I'm doing okay. I've never done this before, not even to test it out. All right. So that's that side. I think I still have a little more here. Look how cute. <laughs> this is like a, like a top. Okay. So I'm going to actually do the other one because mama has to eat too. So if you've never seen a zucchini, this is a zucchini. 
it looks like a cucumber but it's not it has this different um end here it's slightly slimmer so i cut off i wonder where my sister is that she hasn't jumped on she's coming out of work so i start peeling it so like i said i'm going to be um dipping this in boiling water cooking it maybe for two minutes not too much because i don't want to eat it raw i guess you can eat it raw but uh, I don't think Iggy will be too happy if I give this raw to her. Um, and since I did slice it um, a little thicker, you know, I don't want her to complain. I want her to eat it all. Um, I am going to use a store-bought sauce. Now, I'll let you know which one I actually bought. Um, I went to Fairway, which is my favorite place. My favorite place. And I actually found a great... Um, I found a spicy marinara and a, and a great vodka sauce. I love vodka sauce, but it's very, very high in sodium and um, a little fattening so because of the ingredients. One of these days I'm going to use a homemade sauce and share it with you guys. But today I got to make it quick because Kiki's hungry and she's coming home soon and I got to make sure you know I got dinner on the table so this is my next zucchini I think this was the side this was a small side oh I can't remember now I think this was all right and here I go oh this was a small one let's try the other side wrong side so no one's tried this before, guys? All right, so this is cool. You get to try something new with zucchini. I'll show you guys how the plate looks. Need a little twist here. I'm also going to prepare for you a um, curry cauliflower. Now, for those of you that have never tried curry, curry is an amazing spice. Um, it contains different spices mixed together. It, it, um, it's a mix of cumin, um, turmeric. What else does it have? Oh, goodness. I had it up on my laptop. Cumin, turmeric, coriander. It has a little spicy red uh, pepper. Ooh. And it's actually really, really good for you. If you have issues with arthritis, it's a good anti-inflammatory. It's actually great um, for dementia, for people with Alzheimer's, because it has turmeric. Turmeric is a super anti-inflammatory and is great for uh, people that have issues with um, dementia. So if you didn't know that, go run and get some turmeric and start taking your turmeric so you don't lose your brain cells. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. So the thinner ones is too thin, but if that's how you like it, go ahead. The thicker one is this one. So I have a pot of boiling water here. I'm just going to drop it in there for a few minutes. I'll show you guys. Okay, I actually have a little bit more. I don't want to let it go to waste, but this was what spiraled out. So cute. All right. Let's see how this looks. So actually, the water was boiling, but I'm going to just let it cook for a few minutes. Dropped it in there. Okay, and then I'm going to pour my vodka sauce over it. And that's it. Really easy. I actually put a little Himalayan salt in this. So it has a little flavor. Okay. Just a few minutes. Nothing over the top. Guys, if you like what you see, heart the video. More people will see it that way. And share it. Feel free to share it. Okay, so I am going to let that... Whip up. Cook a little bit. Remind me, guys. <laughs> Don't let me overcook it. So let me show you the, the pasta sauce that I bought. I actually bought 
Uh, I've been shopping for a, a cool pasta sauce that has low sodium. This one is the lowest I was able to find. It has um, 200 milligrams per serving. It, it is a little high, but for a uh, sauce, it's actually really good. I've seen sauces with over a thousand milligrams per serving, and that is a total no-no. I mean, per serving, for every person serving themselves, no. That's just way too much. And that's the reason why we have so much high blood pressure in our families and in our communities, especially, you know, our black and Latino communities. We eat too much salt. So if we don't really pay attention, if you guys can see here, where is it? Right here. It says 200 milligrams. Okay. And I bought this kind. Okay. Um, and this is the vodka sauce. And I also picked up the spicy marinara. You're probably going to see it inverted. But it's also, this one is only, only 10, 10 milligrams less, 190 per serving. So try to look at your labels, guys, and, um, you know, and, and try to keep it. And this one has, uh, it says gluten-free, no preservatives, and no sugar. That's, a, that's another, another thing, the sugar intake. This is only 4 grams of sugar, okay? Let me see how much this one has. Also 4 grams. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up in a saucepan just a little bit of the vodka sauce so I can show you guys mm -mm -mm. okay don't want to open <laughs> don't like TV my life Facebook all right it got it so I'm dump it in the saucepan and what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of water to that just to um, thin it out. I can get the water to run here. So not a lot, but just a little water in there. And that'll bring down the sodium a little bit less. All right, so let me just clean up here. Are you guys enjoying this? Let me know. I want to keep it interactive here. <laughs> All righty. So let's see if I can get the next dish running here. So I can show you how I make super quick, super easy. My, um, yes, Melissa, it's, it's really easy to do. All you got to do is get your spiralizer on Amazon, less than $10. There's different ones. You can get the fancier ones where... Um, you place it on the counter and just spiral it out, or you can use this one. It's really quick and really easy. Um, let's see if I can find a spot for you. I have such a small kitchen, guys. It's just like, I that's my dream, to have a really nice kitchen. Oops, my zucchini. All right, so let's see how this is cooking. I'll show you. You see it's boiling a little. I'm going to be getting this out really, really quick. And this is the sauce. So it's, it looks like actually tomato sauce, but it's actually vodka sauce. All right, so I'm gonna turn it off and I am going to drain it. And I'll be ready for the sauce there. All right, keep this a little low so it doesn't burn. And let's see how I do this. So I'm just going to drain off the zucchini. I'm going to let it drain here. And like I said, I put a little bit of Himalayan salt in that water. So now we're going to prepare the cauliflower. I bought my head of cauliflower. Now I'm going to prepare the whole thing, and like I was saying, I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil, a pinch of Himalayan salt, which is a healthier salt for you, and we're going to use curry powder. Um, this stuff is golden. This stuff, really good for you, and like I said, I think I had it here where the benefits of curry powder, let's see, what the benefits of curry powder is, uh, it stimulates the immune system. It aids in providing bone health, uh, beneficial for improving digestive health, 
reduces risk of bacterial infections, provides relief from inflammation and rheumatoid arthritis, hello, that's me, um, reduces cognitive decline and risk of Alzheimer's disease. This is scientific, guys. Rich in anti-cancer properties and reduces the risk of liver cancer. Helps to prevent cardiovascular disease such as heart attacks. So why not include this in your diet, even if it's just once a week, um, and include it in your veggies? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, water up, well, actually wash up my cauliflower, and I'm going to cut it up so you guys can see. Ooh, I got to plug this before this turns off. Let me plug this because the battery's a little low. Hola, Vanessa. How are you? Let's see. I don't want to lose you guys. Make sure I don't. Okay, I got to plug this in. This is live Facebook for you. All right, so like I said, I'm going to cut up my cauliflower. Just take off the stem. It's like a little bouquet. And when you buy the cauliflower, make sure you, you, you know, don't leave it too long in the fridge because it starts to turn um, ugly. Like your veggies, you have to eat them right away. It starts to brown up. And that's the last thing we need is a brown up cauliflower. <laughs> okay. So I took off the stem. And I'm just going to see if I can get another knife here so I can start cutting it up. And I just like to take it out like that. I like to keep the bouquets together. Okay? It's really easy. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Hola, Benito. Saludos para Ecuador. Cuando viene para Nueva York? <laughs> Saludos a todos allá. Okay, so I'm cooking my cauliflower. I'm actually going to be um, cooking the cauliflower in the oven. So you're not going to actually see that. Now I'm just showing how to prepare it, and then I'll show you how I stick it in the oven. And then um, it'll be nice and uh, baked with the curry and the olive oil and the Himalayan salt. So this is what my cauliflower looks like. In the bowl, all washed. All righty. My sauce, I don't want to forget my sauce. Just mix it up here. Let me move this over here on this side. I have such a small kitchen, guys, like I said. All right. Let's cover that up. And get a plate for my zucchini. I played it. Whippa. So this looks like it reduced, but it's actually a lot. So I'm going to pour my um, sauce over it when it's ready. I'll just show you guys when that's ready. Alrighty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the curry, the olive oil, and the Himalayan salt in a saucepan. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to create like an infused oil with the curry powder and then after that's infused, we pour it over the cauliflower. I put it in a container and I make sure it's all over the cauliflower, then I put it in a, a, a bake sheet, in a bake pan, and then I put it in the oven. So it's really easy. It's nothing out of this, out of this world. Um, for those that don't like to cook, it just takes a few minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is measure my oil I need since I'm using a whole cauliflower I'm gonna use two tablespoons of olive oil aceite verde I can open it it will be okay it's on make sure you turn on the stove on a saucepan like I said aceite verde aceite de oliva what am I making <laughs> I'm making actually spaghetti 
zucchini in a vodka sauce with low sodium. And I'm also making curry cauliflower. And I may have something else over there on the side as well as a surprise. So I'm, I'm, I'm making a few things for dinner. My, my, my daughter decided to go vegan, so I have to get creative now. Um, so for the Himalayan, I am going to use, uh, let me see, it's, it calls for one half teaspoon, so let's see if I can open this. If you guys haven't tried this salt, this salt is very good for you, especially for people that have high blood pressure and still want to season um, their foods with salt. Himalayan salt is a pink salt. I don't know if you guys ever seen it. Okay, it's really economical. It's only like $4 for this whole thing here. So um, this is what I'm gonna be using. Hola Natasha, Ingrid. So I'm gonna use this much salt because I'm using a whole uh, head of um, broccoli, uh, broccoli, cauliflower. Well, they're in the same family, okay. And then the secret ingredient, curry. Hola Luz Maria, hola Abigail. Amy, hi, how are you? Say hello guys, don't be, oh my God. The smell, mmm, smells good. I like it. So like I said about uh, curry, curry is a combination of cumin, turmeric, it has coriander, it has uh, red pepper powder, and uh what else i think that's it and it's great for a lot of things it's, a, it's an anti-inflammatory um great for people that have rheumatoid arthritis if you're if you have any family members that have alzheimer's include some curry powder or turmeric powder in their foods because it's going to help them with um regaining um well it actually prevents dementia it'll help them with their thought processes um anti-cancer uh, agents, anti-cancer for your liver, prevents cardiovascular and heart disease, like heart, heart attacks. I mean, there's so many great reasons why you should include curry in your foods. And I actually learned this when I did my vegan cleanse um, a few years ago. So this is actually one of the recipes that we actually shared. So I'm gonna use, um, it says here, one four teaspoon. I'm gonna use this four times because I'm using a big head of curry. So I'm putting this in a saucepan where I'm infusing the olive oil. I'm not burning it. I'm infusing the olive oil with curry powder and a little Himalayan salt. Now I know you may not be used to the, the, the pugnant aroma of curry but it, it is really great. I love it. I love the way it makes my, I don't, I don't like cauliflower. I would always go for the broccoli instead of the cauliflower, but I love this recipe. So I'm just going to use a small little spoon. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. I don't want to burn it. <laughs> uh Oh, almost burned it guys. Oh my God. So I'm just infusing. I actually turned it off, turned it off. I'm infusing the olive oil with the Himalayan salt and the curry powder. Just a few minutes. Alrighty, so now it's ready to pour. I'm gonna pour it on the cauliflower. So I'm gonna use a different container. I'm gonna use this container because I wanna make sure that all of the florets of the cauliflower get drenched with the uh, infused olive oil. All right, so it's in here. I need a little, okay. I wish Kiki was here, she'll give me a hand. Okay, and now I'm gonna pour over, it's hot, with, ooh, el fuerte, caliente. All right, so I'm gonna cover it And I'm gonna shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Get your exercise in as you shake your cauliflower. So you guys can see when you do that, all of the cauliflower gets covered with the infused olive oil with the curry powder and the Himalayan salt. 
right? So if you don't like to eat cauliflower, this is a great way to eat your cauliflower. All right, so look at that. Look at that. It's all covered. And all I do is put it in one of these so I can pop it in the oven. And voila. So you're going to put it in the oven. I think it's about half an hour. Um, but don't burn it. I mean, it starts to tenderize. And um, it's really, really good. So <laughs> I hope Kiki likes this. <laughs> so I'll show you guys a picture of the finished product. So I'm going to put it in the oven and take a picture and show you guys. And actually probably take a little video to see if Kiara, um, Kiki approved of the curry cauliflower. So yeah, Kiki's gone vegan. So I got to make sure I give her options. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pour the sauce, the vodka sauce on our spaghetti zucchini. I was going to say spaghetti squash, but this is not squash. This is the zucchini. Look at that. Still nice and warm. And let's pour over the vodka sauce. Yeah. Like I said, use a vodka sauce, use a tomato sauce that's low in sodium. And voila! Mm, lo que hay que hacer ahora es probar. All right, guys, let's try this. I hope I leave Kiki some. It's hot. Oh, these are smaller. All right, guys. I've never tried this, so this is my first time. <laughs> okay, these are long. <laughs> Can't grasp them. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, I love it. It's good. Bueno, si Kiki no llega rápido, I think I'm going to have this before she gets here. I'm going to have to go to the supermarket and get some more zucchini. Wow. Quieren un poquito? Who wants some? Mmm. This is good. Wow. I love it. And the sauce is perfect. No high sodium. Awesome. I love it. That's a keeper. I wish I could send you some or, or Facebook has smell a vision so you guys could smell how good. Oh my God. She's going to love that. I may have to go out and buy some more zucchini. <laughs> Hi, Mia. I know. I want to keep eating, but you guys are here, so I can't really, like, continue. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to give her her veggies, because that's a, a portion of her vegetables. Actually, she's not going to eat the whole thing. She's going to eat probably half of that. Um, but I'm going to give her some carbs with that. So I wanted to show you guys something. So I have two types of sweet potatoes here. I have a sweet potato, which is a little orange. And then I have another sweet potato that looks a little purple. Which one is a yam and which one is an oriental? Who knows? I have a prize for the winner. A or B? Which is the oriental? Which is the... Uh, The regular the regular yam. Orange is a yam. Okay. So this makes it oriental. So if we cut it through, you'll see. This is the yam. This is what we usually eat during um what we usually eat during Thanksgiving, but we mess it up because we eat it with all the sugar, the, the maple syrup, and the cinnamon, and the uh, marshmallows, we actually mess up the carb. But this is actually a very good carb for you. So I'm going to prepare for um, Kiki a side of carbs. And I'm going to actually just bake this, drizzle a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of cinnamon. And that's it. This is your oriental sweet potato, which I actually prefer because it's actually sweeter. I don't know if you've ever tried it. 
It's purple on the outside. The skin is purple. On the inside is white, but it starts to um, oxidize. So it starts to take a, a um, what do you call it? Uh, it, it starts to take a, a darker color. If you boil it and when you actually bake this, it'll be a little brown. Um, yes, this is the Oriental. So the winner is Jackie. Fontanez, I have a little surprise for you. I'll be sending it to you. I'll be messaging you for answering first. This is the yam. And another little surprise for, um, who is it? Uh, Melissa Aponte with the Oriental. Another little surprise for you too. So this is actually my favorite, but they're both the same type of carb. These are complex carbs. These are the best carbs you can give yourself um, to help sustain um, like hunger, like before your workouts, if you have a few, uh, uh, a good carb, these are the carbs that you want to have. So I like to have these with eggs. I like to have them as a snack. Um, I try not to have them for dinner, but in this case for Kiki, since she's, you know, went cold turkey vegan on me like yesterday. <laughs> I need to give her some carbs because I know she hasn't had enough carbs during the day. Um, and I'm going to put these in the oven. I'm probably going to give her this one. Um, actually, I can give her both. I'm going to cook them both. I like to cook them both in a big pan in the oven and, um, and just keep them in the fridge for whenever we get hungry. And whenever you have a craving of something sweet, this with a little cinnamon over it, um, with a little egg whites in the morning and spinach, it's delicious. So make sure you get your carbs in the good carbs. Anything that's processed, simple carbs, you want to keep away from, guys. This gives you energy, gives you um, satisfaction because you're eating something sweet, and it keeps you fuller longer. And when you're burning in the gym, you burn this first so it doesn't convert into fat. Let's see what you guys are saying. Yes, the white one is really, really good, uh, Cor Coraline. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. So guys, um, that's all I wanted to really share. <laughs> I don't want to take more of your time because it's been like more than 40 minutes. But I hope you enjoyed these recipes and I want you to try it. Heart the video, share it with someone that probably needs to tweak their nutrition a little bit and they, they need to eat a little healthier or they're looking for ideas or, you know, on your kids. If you want them to eat more veggies, this is a great way to actually spice up the food and give them a little more, bit more um, options and ideas. You know, you don't have to tell them what it is. You just give it to them like I used to do with Kiki. Like I wouldn't give her a lot of information. I was just like, Yo, here's your dinner, like what I'm going to do tonight. So I'm probably going to video cast that. <laughs> So you guys can see her reaction. Hopefully she'll like it. I'm crossing my fingers. I think she will because it's really good. I loved it. I loved it. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for hearting. And if you are in a, on a journey and you're doing this alone and you want some accountability, I'm here to help you. So my call to action to you is send me a message. Let me know that you need accountability, you need someone to push you, you need some, someone to keep you motivated. I have a great challenge group that's starting. If you have a program already and you don't work with anyone, we can work together. If you don't have a program and you're interested in any of the programs that I'm doing, I'm actually doing a few things right now. I have to get myself set because I have some goals to achieve by the end of the year and um, I'm gonna be starting a new program really soon. I probably will do the reset really soon. Um, but I'll keep you posted. I have to see what I'm going to do. But regardless, I have challenge groups starting every single month. And I'm starting one at the end of the month. So if you want to join, you have to message me now. So we can prepare you. And you can get your um, your tools in time. It takes about 7 to 10 days for you to get your tools. And we can start in time for the next challenge group. So guys, send me a message. Don't be shy. I'm here to help you. Um, you're helping me in turn because you're keeping me on point and, and, and accountable. All right. Um, uh, I wish I could send you some, Jackie. <laughs> Let me see what you guys... Okay, I'll try to reply to all of your messages here. But if you guys have any ideas of something you want to see me prepare, just send me a message or post it down here. I'll post pictures when the uh, cauliflower is ready. 
And when uh, when uh, Kiki tries the spaghetti zucchini, hopefully she'll love it. Mwah! Take care. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.